Now it's 727. So about 7 uh, 30, we're gonna figure out who's gonna preach. Who's gonna go first? Proverbs 21. Elder Claire? Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Elder, uh, I mean, uh, Minister uh, Eugene, uh, read that for us. Read that whole in its entirety because somebody might want to pick out some one verse that jump out to, to, to them and another. Now, when you're tag team preaching, if we're in a revival yeah. and I'm preaching and I give you the mic and I say, take it, don't get up there and try to take the Bible. And let me tell you all, hold on, saints. We're going to read this right here. Turn your Bibles. Do you everybody have it? No, you're supposed to keep it flowing. Amen. 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 Ain't no time to, to, to acknowledge nobody. We already did that. All, all right? I'm just making that clear. I love you. I just want to make sure we know. Amen? Amen. My wife looking at me. She said, when you get up there and say that, don't be saying that for 20 minutes because the people's is all getting tired of hearing you. I understand, Shakira. But listen, I'm just trying to make sure y'all know. When there's no law, there's no transgression. And so sometimes you got to get specific with stuff. Because if you know folks take stuff and they take that one thing, you forgot and just get, oh man. Yeah. Proverbs 31. Read this thus. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. What, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law, and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth, for the dumb is, for the dumb and the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? That's right. Come on. For her price is far above rubies. Yes. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh, worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maids. She considereth a field and buy it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted the vineyard. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Yeah. Her candle goeth not out by night. Yeah. She laid her hands to the spindle, oh and her hands hold the distaff. Yeah. She laid her hands to the spindle and the staff. She strengthened out her hand to the poor. Yeah, she reaches, reaches forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, her clothing a silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellentest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. All right. Everyone clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, send your feet. Come on, send your feet. We're going to make sure that we push, push the preachers. Amen? Push the preachers. We feel the atmosphere. Feel the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus.
Now when they when they come, don't sit down. Just go ahead and push it. Just sit down, take a breath, and sit down back up. Keep on pushing. Come on, receive the other clever by saying amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're talking about a virtuous woman. A virtuous woman knows her place. She knows what lane she is to be in. And she knows not to step out of that lane. A virtuous woman knows before the Bible says that she will rise early and feed her kids. My mother used to rise up and cook us bread. We smelt it all through the house. Mother Chris Bridge preached a message. A virtuous woman is holiness. Holiness to the bone. Holiness will carry you and keep you. A virtuous woman knows who she is and who she is. A virtuous woman learns her purpose in life and where she is to be and where God wants her to be. She learns how to listen and to wait on the Lord. And again, I say, wait on the Lord. A lot of times we get in trouble when we don't wait. When we don't wait, we will cross when the Lord is saying, stand still. When we don't wait, we will run away when the Lord is saying, Stay where I placed you. We've got to learn how to stay where he placed us. A virtuous woman will wait on her mate and not be so bold as to go find him. But the Bible says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. It did not say she that goes out and finds her mate. She will wait on the Lord. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
found has to be searched for.
gonna take my time. You know, I remember years ago when I read uh, when I read about a virtuous woman, and I said, uh, I don't think I can be that virtuous woman, nor do I want to be her, because she's doing too much all the time, everywhere, everything. And I, and I really couldn't see myself in that role. And then, as the years went on, God revealed to me that she was able to do all those things because she had her priorities straight, because she kept God first, because all. Somebody 
somebody said if you like it, put a ring on it. That ain't bad. He put a ring on it. Somebody not hearing me. Uh-huh. We not testing some stuff out. Let's see you miss the woman. This virtuous woman understood the power of who she was. And as a woman, when you understand the power of who you are, you will set the bar high. And if they don't measure up, you have to keep moving. Yes. The altar is open tonight. Thank you, Jim. Praise the Lord. It's time for us as women to understand that God wants us in a place of righteousness. Some people say, I want to be happy. But I want to take it a step further. As a woman, I want to have joy. Because joy remains. Happiness comes just for a moment. You may go to dinner and laugh and do all those different things. But is there going to be longevity? Think about that for a moment, women. Is there going to be longevity in the relationship? I feel the Holy Ghost, the prophet, she didn't kick in now. Is there really going to be longevity in the relationship? Or have you lowered the bar and said, it's okay, he'll do. The virtuous woman didn't say that he will do. If that's you tonight, you say, you know what? position and just for a moment women can we pretend the men aren't here sorry men we're gonna pretend y'all not here tonight but if that's you tonight and you say you know what you know I'm on the dating scene this man didn't do me right this one didn't do me right. I want you to get off the dating scene and I want you to get on the God seat. Because that's when God will place the one that should be right by your side. Can I just talk to the man just for a moment? God took the rib from Adam's side and the rib facilitates breathing. So guess what, women? He really can't breathe without you. Not you without him. And so if that's you tonight, I just want to agree with you. We're not going to have a long prayer line or anything like that. But I want to agree with you because I understand from experience that when you wait, God will bless you with someone that really loves you. virtuous woman, I desire for God to just bless me with the mate that's right for me. If that's you, you can come and I will agree with you. Hallelujah.
man is leaping on your stuff to get to you. I feel the anointing. He's leaping over stuff. Now, hold on a second. I know you're excited. Hold on a minute. Because he's going to be just a little bit older than you. But he showed God some strength. All right. God said, get ready to receive him. Because he's leaping over some stuff. All right. To get to you. So, Father God, we thank you. Thank you. For the man of wisdom. That's taking the leap to meet his problem. In the name of Jesus. I felt the release. Thank you for it right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. My God. I'm on my sin. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. She done made up her mind now, y'all. He didn't try to come change me. 
but he just helped me humble a little bit. <laughs> and then, you know, it's working. It's working. So, I've been praying that God will send you somebody. Take Jane. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The struggle is over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give her the patience to do what's needed to be done Thank you, for her Boaz. Yes, God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for You might as well praise him because he's on his way. Anybody else? It's almost over. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God tonight for the virtuous one. Amen. We praise him in advance for what he's about to do. We thank him for all the ways. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm excited, y'all. I really am. God is really good. Are you making an expectation? You gave a testimony with a spike here. Uh, wait, not God. You're an expectation? Amen. Okay, I just want you to repeat after me and say, I'm an expectation. I'm an expectation. Of the husband that God has for me. Watch it come to pass. Hallelujah. He just said it's coming. Can we stand to our feet? Hallelujah. We thank God for our first lady. Elect, amen. 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 The reason why, amen, I believe that she can uh, release that word is because the blessing is on her. Amen. 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 And when the anointing is on you, you can release it. So ain't no sense of somebody trying to release healing and they bound. Amen. 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 So the blessing amen. is on her. So we thank God for her. Why don't you give uh, all of the speakers a amen. Amen. And it was clear everyone stayed themselves. Everyone followed everything. And I mean, uh, it was a good sound word from everybody. Amen. Amen. God bless. Y'all stay with y'all time frame. Next time, uh, we can probably go a little further more in time. Amen. And then we want to be mindful that we have the uh, school. Amen. The children have to go to school. We want to give you the announcements. Uh, our weekly events. Amen. Sunday school. At 9.15 a.m. morning worship, 10.30 a.m. Sunday night, 6 o'clock p.m. Tuesday, yeah, this Tuesday we're having children's uh, choir rehearsal at 6.30. And that will be followed by um, a praise dance rehearsal for those children that are participating in the praise dance and flag ministry. Amen? Amen. Uh, we also have... Amen. Upcoming events. Uh, we have a community event uh, September 19th, 2014 at 7 p.m. at Free Methodist Church. Amen? Amen. Uh, everybody. Pastor wants everybody. You hear what I'm saying? Somebody say everybody. 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 Listen, uh, this is a very, very important uh, community event and we want you to really make sure that you're there. This, If you're part of Seed of Faith, we want you to be at this event. We need some help, uh, some brothers. We may be asking you to help us with a few things, but we want, amen, to make sure that you're there. So at Free Methodist Church, located on 4455 Silverton Road, Northeast of Salem, Oregon. Also, get ready for the Citywide Revival at State Street Church. Amen, save the day, amen, November uh, 12th, 12th and 14th. And the 16th, we're having appreciation for Pastor Brown. Amen? Amen. 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 So we want to keep make sure that you keep that in your mind. We thank God for everything that's taking place. Amen. And if anything happened on tonight and nobody felt acknowledged or anybody felt offended, please count it to our head and not our hearts. Amen? Amen. 
You want to make sure that you leave with a clear heart, clear mind. Amen. That God bless us on tonight. And we just can't just feel his presence. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And we're going to have our pastor. Amen. We're going to dismiss uplifted hands. Father, we thank you for the service on tonight. We thank you for everything that you have done, everything that was said, every prophetic word that has been released out of the mouth of your prophet. Father, we thank you, O oh God, and we ask God that you will cover us in Jesus' name as we leave this place. Every demonic force that will try to cause your word to be a lie, we bind it right now in Jesus' name. Father, you said your word go out and it will not, it will not return void in Jesus' name. So do the work, O oh God. Bring the miracles, O oh God. Until we meet this in this place again, we continue to give your name the praise, the glory and honor, in every heart say, Amen. Amen. Check your hands and read from the God bless.